Good morning guys, welcome back. Today's video I thought I would do an updated morning routine because it is now 2022 and I also have a puppy. Mello is here with me now. <laughs> I went ahead and got him out of his crate. So right now he is sleeping in his crate during the weekdays and on the weekends we try and let him sleep with us just to try and get him used to it. You wanna say hello puppy? Or you don't know what's going on? You don't really know what's going on because you're not a YouTuber, so you don't know how to talk to your camera, but when your camera's out, you gotta talk to it, okay? So I have to walk Mello. He's going crazy. He's ready to go outside, but first I always brush my teeth before I take him out just because if I don't do it now, I'm going to forget. And this is the toothpaste that I use. It is the Hello Anti-Plaque and Whitening Fluoride-Free Toothpaste. I always use fluoride-free because gotta keep the mind sharp, and I try to avoid fluoride. Okay, teeth are now brushed. Mello, are you ready to go outside, baby? Are you ready to go outside? Yes, let's go outside. He's got to literally lift his leg up and pee on every single plant we pass. <laughs> Come on, puppy. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Final pee in. Come on, Bubby. Let's go back upstairs. Come on, let's go back upstairs. Come on. Come on, let's go. All right, guys, we are now back inside, and because it's so cold outside, I usually just come in and put some lotion on my hands because they are cracked and cold and dry. Yeah, we gotta put some lotion on. Typically, do not do skincare in the morning. I know, I know. A lot of you guys have been asking me for like a skincare routine. I do more skincare at night than I do in the morning, so this is not really the video for that, but pretty much all I do in the mornings is take a little cotton pad and I just put cold water on it and I just wipe my face off just to kind of get any oils that accumulate on this surface of my skin throughout the night. This is obviously not going to do any sort of deep cleaning. This is the moisturizer that I'm currently using. It's just called Deep Sea Pure Water Cream by Purito and you can get this off of Amazon. I think it was like $17 so not too bad. My sister actually showed this to me and I really like it. It's actually Korean skincare which Korean skincare is typically really good because they don't put a bunch of like useless ingredients in it that it doesn't need and it is a water-based moisturizer. That's pretty much all I do to my skin in the mornings, but it is now time for my most favorite part of the morning and that is coffee. I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my iced coffee. I'm telling you guys this is the best recipe ever. It is a little bit of work, but I will show you guys a shortcut on how to make it a lot faster. Okay, so this is the contraption that I use to make my morning coffee, and it's basically just a stovetop espresso maker. I got it off of Amazon for like $20. I actually learned this from my ex because his family was full on Italian, and they always used this, and I thought it was the best thing ever. Of course, if you have an actual espresso making machine, you can just use that, but I mean, if you don't have one, this is a really cheap alternative and I really like how this makes the espresso all you do is you take this top part off and then you put the espresso in this thing and then you put the water in here 
This is a nine cup espresso maker and I just fill it with about 14 to 15 ounces of water. And then this is the espresso that I use. I absolutely love this espresso. You can get this from Target for around $6. But basically my shortcut is if you do not want to make espresso from scratch, you can just buy these little coffee pods. These coffee pods are so nice and they're really strong. They taste like espresso, but also like a espresso coffee. So I really like these. These have been my favorite k-cups here lately so i don't know i just really love this brand but yeah i use that during the week if i actually have to go into the office and i don't have time to do my little espresso ritual so you just put that in there and then we're going to close this up and then we put this on the stove and you're not supposed to put this on high heat you're just gonna set it for mm, i don't know i usually put it on three or four so let's put it back here and we're gonna turn it on to three, four. I also have a milk frother that I'm gonna show you guys and that thing is amazing. But in the meantime, while this makes, I'm gonna pop open my work laptop and get started on some morning emails and do all that. I just caught up on all my work emails for this morning and I want to quickly show you guys my new cups that I bought and I am obsessed with these so I got these off of Amazon I think they were the brand Libby Hill or something like that but they're just these really nice clear glasses and we have a tall one and then a shorter one but I really like them because they are so sleek it literally has no sort of I don't know they're just really nice because they're just straight and yeah i just absolutely love them so much so i usually make my iced coffee in this tall glass this glass i use for i don't know water i don't really put my coffee in here because i actually have these mugs that i'm going to show you and these mugs are literally everything i am so obsessed with them i got these from target i think they're also the libby hill brand but they kind of match these if you can tell they're very similar and they're just like i just love this look i think this sleek look is so nice where it's just straight i have really nice glass straws and I bought this from Amazon. All of this will be linked in the description box if you guys are interested in picking anything up, but we have these short ones, which are really nice for your hot coffee. And then the tall ones that I use for my iced coffee. I also have this frother and this is what I'm gonna be using to froth my milk in, but you just have this base that you plug into an outlet. You put this on top and then this little thingy. You put your cream in, milk in, whatever, and then you put this and then you turn it on and it frosts the milk. I really like this frother and I think this was only 20 to $25 from Amazon, so not bad at all. Our espresso is now complete and I will show you guys what it's supposed to look like once it's done. So you just lift this up and you're gonna see it's like kind of near the top. So yeah, that's the espresso. It is now complete. This is just an old mug that I have, but I just just put it in the freezer to make it a little bit colder but what I'm gonna do is pour my espresso into this mug okay so I'm gonna put this mug back into the freezer and we're just gonna chill the espresso in the freezer just for a little bit to make it cold I do not like watery espresso I know that's pretty much an americano but personally i like my espresso very strong because we're gonna make quite a bit of froth and put it on top and that's what's gonna make the drink i guess sweeter or less strong so yeah i don't like watery espresso so i'm using this delight irish cream creamer I do have that half and half that i want to use i just need to buy a liquid syrup to put in it because half and half is not very sweet so <laughs> And then you just stick this in here and then we're going to pop it onto the base press this and then we're going to select cold so you want to make sure with this frother it has different settings on it it has like a hot stiff froth and then it has a cold froth so you just select the cold froth and it's going to make it cold and uh, get about that much espresso and then our froth is also complete. So we're going to take this off. This 
And then we're just gonna pour the froth in. And that is our iced coffee complete. She looks gorgeous. Let me get a straw. I also like to drink it without a straw because it literally tastes like an espresso from Starbucks with cold cream, uh, cream, cold, sweet cream cold foam on top. <laughs> Mm hmm oh my gosh yes so good delicious all right guys i've now moved over to the couch and i'm sipping on my iced coffee i'm about to play a youtube video because i can't connect to my work system right now so it is currently like I don't, they're like remoted into my computer right now trying to fix it so while they do that, I'm gonna drink my coffee and I'm gonna watch a YouTube video. And my favorite YouTubers actually posted a video last night, Julia and Hunter Havens. So I'm about to watch their video. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. But I also have Mr. Meadow here with me. He is being such a good boy. He loves when mommy stays home. Don't you, Bubby? He loves it so much. He is getting groomed on the 8th, February 8th. I kind of want to take him sooner than that because his little booty hole was kind of stinking last night. So I think he needs to get his anal glands done. You need to get groomed, Bubby. You are looking rough. I wanted to quickly show you guys my little updated seating area. I believe I showed you guys this shelf over on my Instagram but I decorated this shelf with all new decorations and I am absolutely obsessed with it it is so freaking cute and I bought these chairs from Walmart these chairs were literally 130 to 140 each I think total I paid 290 for both of them together and then I put this poof over here all I need now to finish this area is a rug which I already have a rug picked out and we're just gonna put it right here and then I want to get two pictures to hang on the walls just some wall decor to put above the chairs and I want it to match and be like long ways. Meta? <gasps> Who's my little teddy bear? Huh, Bubby? Are you my little teddy bear? Is that you? Hmm? Is that you? Wow, you are just so handsome. Yes, you are. All right, guys, so I'm back in the kitchen and it is around 11 o'clock, so I'm gonna make myself a quick little brunch. These are my favorite hash browns. You can just get them from the grocery store. And then we got some cheddar cheese that we're gonna be throwing in there. But the first thing that I'm gonna do is add in my hash brown. Well, actually, let me spray my pan first. Whenever I'm recording, I always forget to use oil and spray and stuff, so <laughs> let's not forget that. All right, you guys, so here's my little egg and cheese hash brown scramble. I am gonna put ketchup on it as well as some Texas Pete. So let me go grab that. Mm. All right, you guys, time to give this scramble a try. I also made myself a water in my Spidey cup. I am so hungry. Perfecto. Usually on the weekends, I will do a few more things in my morning routine, but I have to like keep checking my computers so I can respond to emails. I also have been setting up interviews and taking a few calls. So obviously I've been working as well. <laughs> 
All right, you guys, so that is pretty much it for my 2022 morning routine. Let me know in the comment section what you do every morning that is a part of your ritual. And also let me know if y'all would wanna see a 2022 nighttime routine. Today's shout outs goes out to Yashi. Yashi said, love your videos, wanted a shout out for a long time, so shout out to you. And then second shout out goes out to Angel Fernandez, and they said your videos are amazing, and I love how you reply to your YouTube fans, Daisy. You guys are not my fans. Y'all are my subscribers, my fam. I do not consider y'all my fans. If anything, my haters are my fans, okay? So <laughs> make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.